Welcome back to the show. And you know, folks, even with our new wonderful fan above us, it's still hot here in the kitchen. You know what? When you're in Florida during the summertime, it's just humid, folks. So I needed to change my shirt, and I hope you like the, the color coral. In any event, what we're going to be doing today is a, a wonderful appetizer. It's a classic Japanese appetizer, and it's nagamaki. And nagamaki is really just sliced beef with some scallions and some teriyaki sauce. So we're gonna start with, uh, in this case, uh, go to your butcher and have them cut top round very, very thin for you. And you're gonna end up with uh, what I'm gonna do right now, which I'm gonna show you. Forgive my hands, but it's the only way to really show you. So we're gonna start off with a very nice thin piece of top round. And then what I'm gonna do is take the teriyaki sauce and liberally layer this entire beautiful piece of meat on one side only because we're going to put the scallions on this and then we're going to roll this big baby up and then we're going to put it on a grill. Now I've already have one already prepared as you can see right here and this by the way is for the chef that's just a little extra treat. So we're going to put this on just like that. Okay and then I'm going to take some scallion and just Put it here like this. Maybe that's too much. And then I'm just going to roll this up. I'm going to roll it towards you so you can see it a little better. And as tightly as you can, just kind of roll it up like that. There you go. And then we're going to put this on a platter and take this to the grill along with our little treat for the cook. And um, come and follow me. Come on, let's go. You know what, um, you see how I trimmed this earlier one, so if you want to make it really look fancy, we can do that. And you just want to cut the ends off, because again, you're going to be cutting this thing up sort of like sushi. So you can cut both ends up. Okay, now we're going to take this, we're going to put it on a grill, and this won't take long. Again, it's a it's thin piece of top round, so it'll happen pretty quickly, so we're just going to put it there and put our other one on and give it a, a minute or two and we're going to turn it over and then we're going to give it one last brushing of our teriyaki sauce and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to take these off, and look how fabulous they look. Take this guy off, and take it back to the cutting board. I'm going to take one off because I think actually this is perfect for, for two people. And as I mentioned before, I'm just going to cut these in kind of a sushi length, if you will, about like that. And then we'll put these on our plate. And you can put a little more teriyaki sauce on if you wish. I think it's got enough, frankly. But everyone to their own design, if you will. Okay, let me plate these. Well, sometimes they come apart. That's okay. <laughs> you get the basic idea. Okay. This is yours, my audience. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to plate one for myself. And maybe I'll take a little bit of this other one as well. Just, I'm gonna use my fingers. Okay. Okay, let's try it. And like I said before, I think you're absolutely gonna love it. It's a classic Japanese uh, appetizer and nagamaki and I think this will give you a little different flavor maybe than what you're used to. So just try it. Mmm. Wow. It's very good. Okay, folks. For the recipe, go to my website, www, pardon my mouthful, www.betterhealthgreaterwealth.tv, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Here's another one of Rob's food facts. 
Did you know in the 1900s, the early 1900s, peanut butter was considered a delicacy and was served only in New York City's finest restaurants? It's true, folks. More after this break.